So you guys can see right now, I'm inside of Roblox The Hunt, and we're gonna check out the live events, and then I'm gonna get into the easiest badges that you guys can unlock to, uh, to basically get ahead of all the other players, because you guys may know, uh, you may already be hunting for the badges, there's some that take a while to do, and there's some that are super, super easy, and I'm gonna show you guys the easiest ones so far. So here we go, three seconds into this live event, alright, two, one, and, alright, starting soon! Complete quest, earn avatar items. All right, it should be starting. Um, I, I don't, I don't see anything different. Um, uh, it, it just says starting soon. Are we gonna be able to to be inside of the area? For those of you guys that don't know, a lot of games uh posted their updates early than everyone else, so I already have like uh, a first hand at the easiest badges to get because it's all based off of badge amounts. So it says update starting soon. But I guess I'll just chill here and, and wait for it to happen. All right, so now I'm inside of here. It says, welcome to the hunt of the first edition. Enter the portals to collect a token badge in each experience. The tokens to unlock exclusive items. Happy hunting. This is only the beginning. So you guys can see right here, there's all these portals right here. And all these portals lead to different Roblox games. I mean, just look at all of these games that I'm running across right now. All of these have badges. Now, there's a handful of these games that I've already played, that I already know are, are like the easiest. And I'm gonna show you guys exactly those ones in this video. Okay, so make sure you guys stay tuned. Be sure to like and subscribe, because I'm gonna be posting more of the easiest badges in videos like these, where I show you guys multiple badges in one video. So stay tuned, be sure to like the video and subscribe. Let's hop straight into one of the first ones that I do want to cover. Now I just want to say, I'm going to give you guys brief overviews on these and how to get them. So first one I actually want to start off with should be right over here somewhere. Uh, where did it go? Where did it go? Uh, it should be right here. Here. So starting off with the club on Roblox, so this one is super easy. It shows you exactly where the hunt is at. Uh, like this game is super easy. It takes about I want to say like five minutes to complete this. You can even do it in less time. But basically, it's just a parkour area. This is a five minute badge. You can complete it super super easily. And uh, you guys can watch the video. I'll leave links to each uh, tutorial down below. So you guys, I made videos on each of them. If you guys really want to see step by step of how to do them but this one in my opinion is just one of the easiest it's a very very basic and simple parkour that you guys can complete in five minutes it's super super easy and you get a badge unlocked just like that so next up we have the arsenal one now the arsenal one is also a very very easy event uh it's not really that easy but it's very easy to follow i should say this takes about 10 to 15 minutes to complete a little bit on the longer side but it shows you exactly where to go and what to do and if you've been playing arsenal before you should have no problem with this uh boss or not boss but like quest right here i don't want to spoil it too much but like i said if you guys want the full walkthrough i'll leave a link to it down below inside the description with all the links to the videos so you guys can go and check them out of my walkthroughs on them but this is definitely up there uh very very easy badge to get so next up we have gunfight arena which is honestly another really easy one all you have to do is pick up five ten of five different items so there's five items that you have to pick up and you literally just play you have to play on this map right here and pick up items from players that you eliminate it's literally that easy there's like these hamburgers on the ground there's five total items and you have to get 10 of each one so 50 items in total but that's just 50 items off of the ground that you can pick up i mean you don't even have to eliminate the player like this one right here i just picked up straight off the ground it didn't even eliminate that player so it is a very very easy way to unlock a badge you can collect this anywhere from between 10 to 15 minutes of playing it really just depends on how good you are and if there's a lot of items next to you it really just all really depends and i believe you might even be able to do this inside of your own private server if it does help you guys out a little bit so this one is also extremely easy so next up we have pet simulator 99 now this one is probably the easiest out of all of them i'm gonna still have more to show you guys but this one is still super easy all you have to do inside of pet simulator 99 is get to level 20 that's it you literally just have to get to level 20 and you get the badge so if you've already played pet simulator 99 all you have to do is literally spawn in walk to level 20 and you're good now this one if you're a new player is probably super super time consuming but i'm assuming a lot of 
you guys watching this video probably played Pet Simulator in the past, so it may be super easy. You probably already have level 20 unlocked. If you don't, well, then I recommend probably moving on to a different badge to unlock. Blade Ball is also super easy. You have to play five games. You have to block the ball 30 times and get three eliminations. And you can do this inside of a private server as well. So it's very, very easy. Um, I mean, if you do this with your friend, like, you, just, you just take turns eliminating each other and you can complete this in literally like five minutes or less. This is another very, very quick um, uh, badge to unlock. And plus, I believe private servers are free. So I think just block the ball 30 times, eliminate three players and play five modes. I mean, it's literally as simple as that. This is definitely up there in one of the fastest and easiest badges to unlock. Roblox Brookhaven, once again, is another super easy one. All you have to do is just find the eggs hidden around the map. It's literally an egg hunt where you can collect 20 eggs. This takes about three minutes to do. Three minutes, three to four minutes of finding these eggs. I show off every egg location. If you guys want to see all the egg locations, I'll leave a link to my video down below so you guys can go ahead and check it out. But it is super easy and straightforward. I mean, these eggs are ginormous and they're super, super hard to miss. And they're only inside of this red zone right here. It's not actually actually around the entire map of the game they made it zoned off so it's actually way easier and all you have to do is collect 20 of these as i mentioned this is probably one of the easiest probably easier than the pet simulator 99 i'm not gonna lie and i mean these eggs are so hard not to get like this is definitely an easy badge every one of you guys should go and get this right now and next up, we have the My Hello Kitty, which is uh, another game which is super easy. All you have to do is spawn in and make your way into this cafe that's right across from the spawn. And all you have to do is serve 100 players. Now, I know that may sound like a lot, but this took me six minutes to complete. It's a very, very straightforward and easy quest to unlock and or badge to unlock, I should say. And you should be able to complete this like in like four to five minutes. I mean, it's literally as simple as that. You're literally just delivering coffee, pressing f and that's it you're just walking up to players pressing f grabbing a coffee it takes four minutes to do it may sound like a lot like 100 players is a lot but it's really not it's a very very simple badge next up we have death ball which kind of is like blade ball but this one is an actual boss fight now i will say that this one only takes about five to six minutes to complete this boss fight which can be pretty fast but it also depends if you can stay alive it is a little bit tougher and more challenging i will say compared to to the other games that I've seen uh, that have the badge inside of it, but it is very, very short, okay? It only takes about, like, five minutes to complete this, but that's if you can stay alive to the very, very end. You can do this with multiple players as well, and you can just try to stay alive as long as possible. As long as you're alive, you get the badge, so there's really no complaining there, but, uh, yeah, this one is pretty easy as well. And those are the ones that I found for now that are the easiest. I did play a couple long ones that I'm not gonna include inside of this video just because they're long, and, uh, I don't, like... You guys want the short ones, so I'm going to give you guys the short and easy ones. But if you guys want to see more easy badges to unlock, make sure you guys subscribe right now. Turn on that notification bell so you guys never miss out on a secret or anything like that. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys all later. Peace out and goodbye.